Surface area of a prism. Technically a grade D GCSE level six national curriculum. But I think this is as hard as any grade C question you'll kind of come across on a foundation paper. First thing we've got to do is to realize that we're doing the surface of it this shape and not the volume. So I'm just going to quickly, if I open this shape out, imagine these are sides made out of paper and or cardboard and you can open them up. You'd end up with three rectangles and two triangles. Looking something a little bit like that. Now this side, if we try to figure out what the sides are, this is 15, this is 8, um, this is 8, this is 17, but we don't need to know that for the triangle, but we do need to know that for this side because this lies on top of this triangle. That's 17 and this is 10 is the side between them. So to find the surface area we need to work out the area of each of these rectangles and these two triangles. So this rectangle is 8 by 10 which is 80. This rectangle is 15 by 10 which is 150. This rectangle 17 by 10 which is 770. These two triangles, um, remembering for a triangle we do the base times the height divided by 2. We could realize that these are both um, would, if we put them together make one rectangle that's 15 by 8 but if we didn't do that we can do the triangle so it's 15 times 8 divided by 2 half of 8 is 4, 4 15s is 60 so that triangle is 60 so this triangle is the same which is 60 and then we just need to add those up 80 plus 150 plus 170 plus 60 plus 60 and as it's a calculator paper might as well use the calculator so let's bring it in 80 plus 150 plus 170 plus 60 plus 16 notes. I've written those down there because it's a three mark question it's very important to show your calculations because it's very easy to make a mistake under pressure in an exam. So all this sort of drawing with the numbers on, any little uh, methods that you're using, write them down. Anything you're doing in your head or you're calculating on a calculator, you write down and then you should, um, even if you make a mistake, get quite a few marks. There's two method marks here. So if you just got the area of one of these sides, um, either by doing the numbers there or showing the calculation, like 15 times 10 or 8 times 10, any of those is worth um, one mark. And then if you've got an expression for the five areas added up, like this one, where at least three of them are correct, that's worth an extra mark. So even if you make mistakes, there's two marks for this question.